This is the ultimate money-making guide for Forza Horizon 5. This video will be split into four sections. If you listen to all four sections, all four methods, combine them all, you will be making as much money as you want. Really quick before we jump into it, on screen right now are the three giveaway winners from last week, the Italian Exotics Car Pack codes. I have messaged all three of them. If they don't reply within a week, I will pick someone else. So make sure to stay subscribed if you already are, or subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss the chance to win any Car Pack codes in the future. So there's lots of different ways to get credits in Horizon 5, as you know. Some of the quickest ways to get them, though, are wheel spins and perk trees. Now, all of these require one thing, skill points. Skill points is a huge factor of all this. So the first portion of this video is showing you how to skill point farm in the most effective way using special races. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a Forza Edition car, preferably a skills boost car like the Sesto Elemento, and again, preferably have the car mastery fully upgraded, everything unlocked. If you don't have that, if you can't afford that, don't worry, you'll be able to afford it quite soon. Then what you want to do is you want to find a skill points related race. There are lots of them out there. So what you want to do is you want to pause, go to Creative Hub, go to Blueprint Events, and click the search function and just search in the title for any race that's called SP. Pick any of them at random, they all do the same thing, and you'll see all it is is a race that's 30 seconds long with a lot of special destructible objects on the road that all give you special skills that give you tons of skill points. Drive over all of the destructible objects for about 10 to 15 seconds, then go off of it and just sit there. Let your skill chain bank. Once you've banked your skill chain, click the pause button and restart race. Do the same again. Every time you do this, you will be gaining loads of skill points in the background. So then when you've had enough, you've maybe done this for half an hour, 10 minutes, five minutes, two hours, however long you want, actually finish the race and then check your skill points and you will have a lot of them. The next thing is perk tree optimization. Now, how it used to work is there used to be a certain specific amount of cars that existed in the game that had easy super wheel spin perks. So you could spend nine skill points to get one super wheel spin and this super wheel spin obviously gives you lots of credits because it's a super wheel spin. People forget about all of the basic perks. I'm pretty confident to say that most of you guys watching already have quite a lot of cars in your garage. Here's what I want you to do. Go through almost every single car that you have in your garage and just see what the first and the second skill is in the perk tree. It might be 10,000 credits, it might be 20,000 credits, it might be 5,000 XP. But the point is you're only spending one or two skill points to get this this perk. You will be very surprised at how many cars are sat in your garage right now with one perk for 50,000 credits for one skill point. Do that 10 times, that's half a million credits. You see where this is going? You will notice that a lot of the perk trees will have wheel spins on as well. I encourage you to spend the extra skill points to get the wheel spins because the wheel spins, especially super wheel spins, will translate into a lot more credits than just the singular perk. Go through almost every car you own and you'll see a lot of them. And the more you do, the more it will add up. Now, if you don't have many cars, I recommend going to your accolades. Now, people are often surprised at how many free cars are available within the accolades. Go to the accolades and just scroll through them. You'll see that loads and loads of accolades have cars as rewards. Now, they're not always super easy challenges, but it's a free car at the end of the day. And once you get that free car, you can then go to that car mastery, which is completely fresh, spend the skill points that you earned earlier, get even more credits. And then if you don't like the car, sell the car on the auction house. All these little things that you do will add up to make a good money making method. Getting as many cars as possible, even if they're crap and boring, they might have 20,000 credits available in the car mastery. The Sesto Elemento, the Trans AM Forza Edition, the Selene S7, the 918 Spider, the Lexus LFA, the Bugatti Devo, the Ford Hoonigan Escort RS from 1994, the Barbie cars that we all got gifted. Check these, check the car masteries. Another one which people often forget is the festival playlist. Check the festival playlist 
this because quite a few things on there will give you a super wheel spin as a reward and it will be a super easy challenge. For example, the Event Lab event, that gives you a super wheel spin just for completing it and what takes a couple of minutes. The PR stunts, the PR stunts are often quite easy in my opinion and they all give you a super wheel spin each. I just picked one at random here, got in my fastest car that I could find uh, within that category, did the PR stunt first try as you can see and I got a super wheel spin. Now the super wheel spins are obviously really good for making money so that's what you want to be aiming for. So just make sure that you're checking all of these little things regularly because they will all add up to a good amount of credits. The fourth and final section is a little bit separate, it's nothing to do with skill points or anything, but that is auction house methods. Now, auction house sniping is essentially where you find a car, for example, we'll use this Aventador SVJ as the example. This comfortably sits on the auction house for 20 million credits. They sell for around 10 to 11 million credits consistently. Now, you may not realise this, but Aventador SVJs like this one will pop up regularly for 275,000 credits, which is very cheap. They sell very quickly, which is why you never see them on the list when you scroll through it. So what you wanna do is pick the car in question, go to the search results and set the max buyout for very, very low. Put it really low. Obviously there's not gonna be any cars there, but what you wanna do is just refresh and refresh and refresh. It might take you two minutes, it might take you 10 minutes, it might take you half an hour, but eventually one will pop up. Despite these consistently selling for 10, 11, 12 million, they do pop up super cheap, but they also sell super quick. As you can see here, I was at this one within seconds, I didn't get it. Now, what you wanna do when you see a really cheap car pop up, you don't wanna click A, click buy, takes too long. You want to use the quick options section by clicking the yellow button, click down on the d-pad once and then double tap A. That will purchase it as quick as possible. Now as I said I missed this first SVJ that was really cheap here but five minutes later another one popped up for 275,000 credits. I managed to grab that one and buy it which I then could relist on the auction house for 11 or 12 million credits. That's 10 million credits profit in just five to 10 minutes work. Now, the only issue with this is that tuning and design ranks might play a factor. Not everybody seems to be able to list cars on the auction house for 20 million credits because you're not the correct tuner or design rank. That doesn't mean you won't be able to do this. You'll just have to do this with cheaper cars. For example, cars that are listed for 2 million credits, but you can grab for 50,000. I would quite happily put the effort into finding these cars for you but if I tell you to use a certain car and 10,000 of you are doing it, it's going to be impossible. Find your own car that works well, don't tell anybody else about it, and you'll hopefully have some good results. A good way to get your tuner and design rank up is to do simple designs and simple tunes. As you can see on screen, I've got a lot of design downloads and a lot of tune downloads. Nothing out of this world, but a good amount. And if you look at my tunes and you look at my designs, they're all fairly simple. If you want to upgrade your tuner rank and your design rank to hopefully get the 20 million car auction house accessibility, get in some popular cars and just make a lot of basic designs, stealthy ones, a nice white car with white rims, vibrant colours, maybe a bit of chrome as well. You'll be surprised how many downloads and uses you will get just by uploading simple designs. The same with tunes as well. If you do all of these accumulatively, work on your designs, work on some tunes, keep an eye on the auction house every now and then, you know, search for a car that you found that sells really high, you might find it cheap, do a bit of skill point farming, check every car you have, look at the skill point mastery tree, see what you can buy. While you're doing the auction house method, if you buy a load of cheap cars from the auction house, quickly check the car mastery before you upload them again. There might be some good credits and wheel spins to earn there. I know this isn't really a video that's showing you one specific method, but unfortunately, if you want credits in Horizon 5 legitimately, this is what you've got to do. But at the end of the day, it's playing the game strategically. Trust me when I say that getting credits in Horizon 5 is not hard, especially if you follow the tips and tricks from this video.